everyone welcome to my channel Nicklex. this is uh, the full PHP tutorial I'm making in this video and uh, I will be covering up all the topics of PHP uh, including the basics of PHP how to insert data into the PHP reading a data from the PHP the session variables the cookies uh, the file uploading in PHP uh, the pagination in PHP and much more topics that makes a complete and full-fledged syllabus of your PHP. So starting with my video, uh, first of all, if you want to make a PHP program, then we need to declare a PHP block over here. So uh, if you want to declare a PHP block, then it's a lesser than sign, the question mark, the PHP, and it will be closing with your question mark and the greater than sign. So here you can define anything over here, like let it be it's hello to PHP. And I'm going to save this where I'm going to save this. I have a C drive ZAMP installed over here. HD docs and HD docs. I will be making up my folder with the name PHP. And here I will be saving this my uh, my this program as first.php. So if I'm going to run this, then I have to just uh, write here localhost and in the localhost, uh, there is a program, uh, there is a folder which I have made PHP and in this folder, I have saved my file with the first.php that is being displayed over here. So if I'm going to run this file, uh, then hello to PHP has been written onto my screen. Uh, because echo is used to print any text in your PHP program. So if you want to declare a variable, dollar $A is used to declare a variable. So dollar $A equals to 10, dollar $B equals to 20. Let's say dollar $C equals to dollar $A plus dollar $B. And if I want to print this, then I need to do as echo dollar $C. So what does dollar C means? Dollar C is the sum of uh, these two variables. And if I'm going to run this, it's going to be tell me 30. And if I need to like uh, define this, the sum is equals to dot is for concatenation, concatenation of a string variable with the uh, concatenation of a string with a variable. So the sum is, is the sum is equals to is a string and with the string I need to print a variable. So if you want to uh, like combine these both lines, you need to put a dot over here. So in this way, your output will be printed and in the double quotes, you can put here the HTML tags like break tag, uh, the bold tag you can put over here and uh, again, you have to put a dot and you have to just uh, put a, a slash back sign, a B sign in order to close your bold tag. So the sum is equals to dollar $C. Dollar $C is 30 and it's going to print it in the bold. So in this way, you can do uh, the sum of two numbers in your PHP. So uh, moving to the next part, if I want to uh, check up a condition over here, so if I'm going to write here as if C equals to 30, then it should show a right guess. Otherwise, it should be showing me the wrong guess. So uh, it's a simple if else that I'm going to write in this PHP. I can put here any HTML tag in the double quotes. So break is a break statements in which it is going to just break your uh, this uh, uh, right guess um, it will be showing that right guess in your next line so in this way you can just implement your uh, if else condition in your php so moving to the next part uh, we have dollar uh, i equals to one and if i you if i want to like implement a loop over here so dollar i dollar i equals to less than equals to 10 so echo dollar i so echo dollar i will be just putting uh, like 
implementing uh, the loop condition will run the loop condition so dollar i equals to 1 so 1 is less than equals to 10 it's eco i starting it will be printing as 1 then 1 plus 1 equals to 2 so dollar i is 2 again it will be can, uh, checking its condition as dollar 2 is less than equals to 10 so it will be printing dollar 2 then dollar 2 plus 1 uh, it's 2 plus 1 3 so again it will be checking as 3 is less than equals to 10 the condition is true so it is going to print the 3 3 plus 1 4 so 4 is less than 10 in this way all the conditions will be checking until the value becomes 10 and if it is 11 then the condition become false and it is going to uh, say like it will be printing your 1 to 10 in between so uh, if i want to just have a break sign over here so eco break i can put it over here so it is going to move in the next line so uh, here if i want to have a break so br so here uh, the lines uh, the every output is been considered in the separate line so in this way you can apply a loop over here in your uh, a php file so this was all about your variable declarations uh, then your uh, this if conditions if else conditions and the while loop how to integrate a while loop in your php so moving to the next part uh, we can say here we can just close a php block over here and uh, here i can start a new php block so if i'm going to do this way then this bracket sign which is starting over here and ending over here it's basically constituting a single while loop so it's a single while loop that is going to, that is being started over here and it's ending over here uh, we can write any of the code either it is an html code or you can write here a php code uh, so this is the benefit of uh, like uh, uh, closing this php block and opening a php block uh, like uh, inside the while loop so in this way you can implement your html css or any you can run your javascript over here so uh, right now i am going to uh, integrate some html code along with the php code over here so the paragraph we can have some css styling uh, here as well so background color as red and we can write here as php eco i so it's uh, looking great uh, i have implemented uh, uh, the php as a background color red over here so this is a while loop in this while loop i have just opened this up open this bracket then the close the php block then i have opened up p and then i have written my this html along with css as an inline style sheet and in the paragraph tag, I have implemented a eco i variable. So in this way, it's been like uh, you can render any HTML CSS code inside your PHP while loop. So this are this was some of the basics of the PHP uh, that you can just go through this. Uh, so if you if you have not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel for getting all the latest updates of this PHP tutorial as, as well as other tutorials. So thanks for watching my video.